हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज चैत्राली देशमुख आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ न्यूज पोर्टल द डेकन एक्सप्रेस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू मीट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इन्फ्लुएंस पर्सनालिटी इन खाके एन आई आई फ्रॉम कानपुर एंड सर्विंग आईपीएस फॉर ऑलमोस्ट थ्री डेकेट्स ही इज करंटली कंसिडर्ड एज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट वाइब्रेंट एंड सब्जेक्ट ऑफ लॉर्ड ऑफ डिस्कशन फॉर हिज लीडरशिप एंड प्रोविंग क्वालिटीज हिज वर्क हैज क्रिएटेड हिज ओन आइडेंटिटी एज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इन्फ्लुएंसल ल्यूमरस पुलिस ऑफिसर विद सिटीजन सेंट्रिक एंड इफेक्टिव पोलिसिंग क्वालिटीज He started from Bhandara district during his probation period and his first task itself has paved his own identity in taking corrective measures by arresting naxals and anti-social elements too as SP of Gadchiroli area he has stressed on mass contacts program for citizen to develop and catering in bridging the gap between the police and localities in order to understand their grievances while serving in Usmanabad he has initiated concept of one village one ganpati which has created an acceptable model across maharashtra as well as in the same duration he has also caught hold of various notorious recoils in that area similarly he stressed on community harmony as well as also worked in parbani nanded mumbai served in ats srpf as well as worked in the training and specialist units vip securities head he has rooted his benchmark in all different shades of khaki policing apart from his using law as a tool he has addressed and highlighted the most neglected aspect he has investigated lot of cases under meteorological act and rules regulation provisions currently in pune city police he is chief of police one of the most handling difficult task and sensitive area he is handling pune kar curbing the crime covid crisis citizen grievances as well as malpractice racket sir is in the news of lot of malpractice rackets that has burst in current situation about the recruitment process in defense ct and health department today his vital role is the key role that he has played in his three decades of services has kindled the various dimension of policing this is none other than i'm talking about not real amitab but a real ips amitab gupta sir today in our special episode the officer we are going to talk to him i welcome you sir thank you chetali and welcome to all the viewers on the deccan express.com thank you sir which is the biggest challenge you think is considered as uh, in police department sir the gangsters are the biggest problem the gangster the underworld these are considered to be the biggest problem but uh, they mostly lead to the uh, situation of anarchy or uh, insecurity in the city common public is more concerned about the street crime and traffic so this, there has to be combination of these three, two things sir in last few days cyber crime cases has increased you yourself when you had served in mantrala and special uh, task that was assigned to you you have stressed on technology and uh, that has created lot of initiative under cyber crimes and everything so what according to you you think that in cyber crime how is the recovery punishment an obstacle before the police department let me put it like that ki cyber crime is a very fast changing area the ipc is of 1876 but cyber uh, act it act came in 2000 and till date thrice it has been overhauled completely so we have to keep pace with the technology and whatever offenses and it is normally found that the cyber criminals are ahead of us or any law enforcing agency in the world because they see the loophole they are better equipped they are better trained and that is their job normally in police department people don't take cyber as a serious issue but let me put it very clearly we are very bothered about a chain snatching which may cost 50000 or 1 lakh and you may be swindled crores or rupees just like that without you knowing and your the anxiety will be less so this has to be brought into proper perspective that is why we have rehauled the whole cyber department we have created five units there we have trained people and uh, 20000 complaints are coming and we are trying to do all of them and try to give justice to one and all so handling pune kar or pune t is one of the difficult task now a year you have been associated with pune kars as a chief of command in pune city commissionerate so by now you have understood their likes and dislike would you like to tell us sir claiming that you understood the area is the worst thing to happen and it should it should not happen because you keep on learning every day but i one thing i can tell lot of stories people make but pune kars are very straight very simple to the heart and they don't want any teda meda replies 
and they don't want anything that you want to fool them you then you will be fooled like anything be cautious that you know don't fool any punekar sir is telling us and police is there to help you out so nowadays police seems to be relying heavily on social media usage and uh, investigating crime or where, when it even uh, pursuing it further so do you think that social media plays a vital role these days in policing sir it has a very vital role i can tell you that at least 10% more than 10% people they don't read newspaper or see other things they are only on social media or online news or everything they never uh, there's no concept of the physical paper and then you cannot ignore that set of people just like that they love to be on social media they want to have their opinion on social media so twitter and instagram you can simply cannot avoid so all your official mediums apart from just just like a press note you have to use this medium and we have tried to use this medium we have broadly used to educate people instruct people sometime tongue in cheek and then we have participatory policing also that sometime we have gone asked for the suggestion from the the social media and accordingly we have modified our schemes okay. so social media is there to stay and you have to accept it and try to excel in it so you have paved your service and worked in different segments of society all together in maharashtra so you have worked in parbani nanded and other areas too in pune mumbai you have served so according to you which was the challenging post that you have served there can be many challenges but two post i uh, the proper posting i considered was uh, most different and challenging one was sp gadchuroli so uh, at the young age of 26 i was sp of uh, gadchuroli and then there are 50 police stations in the district lot of armed forces and you deal with them so it is a different challenge to deal with your own force to see that tribals uh, in the area are taken care and to deal formally with the naxal that was a first big major challenge then second most challenging was dcp of bandra because there the cream of the society stays there handling them is also a different task somewhere other around in maharashtra a murder will not make a noise but in bandra a small small incident makes a national headlines so you have to be very careful that image of the police or working of the police is up to the mark you are tending people and on the toes always these were the two challenging and the third i am dealing with right now as a unit in charge of the big city like pune So as a police officer we have seen that one thing that haven't changed and uh, you might have seen that that is need of change quickly so what according to you is that a need of change just, just like that in the previous question i dealt with that topic like cyber so same example cyber so you have to change you have changed your working style previously during independence the police was considered to be very ruthless now it has to be very sophisticated it has to be people friendly and side by side it starts to be very tough with the criminals also mm-hmm. so that balance is there this balance keep on changing the type of crime keep on changing 90s was the underworld right now it's a cyber in future something else will come economic offense is always growing street crime is always there cctv has dropped street crime but traffic will never be solved because it's a combined problem of all so you have to keep your style changing because certain resources are limited you cannot have unlimited uh, forces it, it is simply not, not possible in a developing country and whatever force you have 80% 90% is taken care in the routine duties so you have to play with the rest as per demand Sir, most of the posting in police department we have seen are considered as punishment posting, sir. So, and uh, because uh, police department has its own characteristic of investigation and using its own manpower or using its own energy into it, but you have taken up the challenge and worked in the area of most neglected law that is there. That is um, one of the most effective need of daily basis that is the that has been seen. That is metrological law and regulation act. So, uh, sir, we would like to know. Key what initiative you had taken and why? What prompted you to take lot of measures into MRP as an? Uh, I was posted in uh, legal metrology, so I stayed there for approximately more than two and a half years, and it was a very interesting and different experience. Normally, we only deal with the IPC and CRPC, but there it was all related to consumer mm-hmm. and the public at large, and then uh, it's a basically engineer job. so it is a measurement job it's a uh, instrumentation 
we put two three major reforms first was that everything the inspector to uh, control everything we made it online so the paper system was stopped and it took lot of training and effort but today metrology is totally online which is a big thing second thing we went for lot of small small laws which was not used for the benefit of the people just as you said so mrp was the thing so we made lot of control at airport at stadium at shopping mall at cinema hall we made them comply to the mrp and that was a huge victory for public assets so it was a interesting thing the fine regulations was not so strong but public support was so large that everybody had to complain sir so now identity cards are uh, given sir and then even police uh, are used for giving providing uh, the passport services that and with the concept initiated started with zero pendency so within a week time people can get their passport sir how with the less manpower that you have in city police and lot of crimes is increasing with that how did you start this initiative sir we had a unfortunate incident of one uh, attempt to suicide at our gate that shaken us and normally it was uh, that incident was also within the time limit time limit was never exceeded it was 30 days for passport for a character verification for passport it is 21 days then we took a challenge on our us that no whether it is 30 or 21 people are getting disturbed people are not liking the, the limit which we have been put by government so let us why not make it even less and for that we increase the manpower we provided extra equipment computers put people in double shift and first we brought the pendency of both character verification and passport to zero and now once the backlog is over you can have a system where you can maintain the speed so now we are clearing everything in 3 to 4 days for character verification and for passport not more than 7 days where our physical verification has to be done sir there is a huge tussle when it comes to syndicate gangs and police person because there is a lot of political influence and other anti social elements also involved into it so despite having such effective use of moka that you have been slapped against lot of 62 gangs so far you have slapped when you took a charge so do you think this is curbing the crime yes definitely it has made a huge impact if you ask any pune kar they feel very safe they feel very comfortable they say ki small small street type of gundas are vanished we had a campaign that we either you improve yourself or we will uh, if you do something wrong uh, we will take it to logical conclusion and uh, by using mcoc or npda we have succeeded into a large extent and people are happy about that so according to you like you mentioned about a campaign or that was a uh, one of the ultimate that you had given to them so you had stressed on uh, for your own redevelopment of those notorious goon no uh, our personal experience is that uh, once uh, people are too much in crime they never sudharte nahi hai so basically if you commit one crime we will come very heavily that was my message so either you stay quiet and if you do something we will uh, take it to the logical you will start but we will finish It's, it was as simple as that so what is real amitab gupta style of functioning i am a simple person i want to be very simple also soft dynamia and i want to maintain that i want anybody coming to me to feel very comfortable smiling face from both the side that is what i want to deal but that is for public which is 99.99% there are 0.01% criminals we deal we know how to deal with them sir uh, in police department training the police officials plays a vital role you being a chief of uh, training and special unit sir have made lot of changes into uh, the training aspect as well as you had revamped the entire structure of uh, teaching style sir because now covid is also one of the new tasks which nobody police persons were aware about it so how this concept arose to you sir uh, training also has a recruitment so let me put it like that ki first time online recruitment of the constable i started so i used my own whatever technical background in gochpoch manner and somehow was able to do two recruitment online and once you do two recruitment things are established we also revised all the training curriculum we tried to revamp all the ptcs and mpa we put up the proposal for uh, independence of the police academy in which government ultimately approved so now we have a head of the mpa as a total uh, it can be independent it can do their own works so these were the reforms we took content wise we tried to create good content and we were 
we were happy about that whatever we did thank you very much sir for giving us time sir i'm yeah. thankful for you thank you all viewers for listening me out if you have listened me